you know, I wonder to myself, like, why am I so obsessed with this concept of masculinity? Why do I talk about it? Why is my channel really based on masculinity? Why do I strive to be more masculine all the time? What is it with my obsession for this thing? You know, when you're trying to like work yourself out and like, who really am I? Why am I this person? I really want to f it, you know, just delve deeper into who I am. And, and I started on this journey and I'll tell you why I started on this journey because when I got wealthy about seven, eight years ago and I, you know, I started making a lot of money, I had a lot of time and money and that's two things that people don't really have. And so when you've got time and money, you can sit back and start thinking about the things that, that just come naturally and you're just your pure natural curiosity, okay? And my natural curiosity is self-improvement as a man. Now, I have always been obsessed with smashing the gym, being ripped strong, looking beautiful, looking attractive, you know, always from a young age, I was like, right, make sure I fix my hair when I leave the house. Make sure I buy a nice watch. Make sure I've got cool accessories. Make sure my beard is trimmed nicely. Make sure I'm looking attractive when I step out the house. There's a version of me who's an ugly looking prick walking around, whose hair's all over the place, whose beard's large. There is a ugly, poor, miserable version of me somewhere in this world. So, I kind of just started getting obsessed with this from a young age. You know, I was hitting the gym from 16 years old and I think my father was a big impact. He was someone who really pushed masculinity onto me by saying like, you have to succeed, you have to win. You know, you have to have a good job. You have to be respected by people. I mean, one thing my father said to me was, fear nobody but God. What a thing to say. You know, how powerful is that? Fear nobody but God. I was like, wow. And you know, ever since that day, I, I've taken that on board. And I, I don't fear anyone. I don't fear any man. No, I mean, unless, uh, unless of course, someone turns up with 10 AK-47s and points it at my head, then obviously I'm going to fear those men. All right, don't get it twisted. I don't want to die. I value this beautiful life. I will die for a true cause. And that will be for my family and for them to survive and, to, and for them to live a good life. I will not die for a wasteful cause. If someone puts a gun to my head and wants to steal my watch, then so be it. You can take my watch and I'll just call up the insurance. <laughs> but, you know, I, I've just been really trying to think like, what is it about masculinity that's just getting me so obsessed with this concept? I can sit and talk about this for so damn long. I could talk about this shit all day and wouldn't be bored. And I talk about it with a passion and from my heart. And they say that you should do something that you wouldn't get bored of talking about. Okay? So, listen guys. Like, a lot of you might be a bit confused about what to do with your life right now. What is it that you could talk about and not be bored of? And I don't care what that is. It could be World of Warcraft, for God's sake. It could be chess. It could be uh, yoga. It could be anything. It could be beautiful coffee tables. You might be obsessed with coffee tables. You know, we're all unique in our own different right. I want you to embrace your uniqueness. And by the way, just because you're obsessed with coffee tables and how people put them in a room to make it look bigger and smaller, I don't know, doesn't mean you're not masculine, okay? You could be masculine and still have very strange interests, very, um, you know, very niche ideas, very niche thought processes that are unique to you and still be a masculine man, okay? You don't need to be uh, big into strength training and weight training just to be masculine. I mean, there's a lot of men in the gym that are not masculine at all. I'll tell you that right now. There's a lot of men in the gym who look the part, but trust me, when it comes down to it, these men are not masculine, okay? So, you know, masculinity is found... It's a, it's a true source that sits in, within human nature. It is something that I thrive off. It is something that I love discussing, something that I love embracing. I am happy because I, have, I am masculine. Now, I have a good combination, I'd like to think, of masculine energy and feminine energy. Now, you need some feminine energy, by the way, as a man. It cannot be purely masculine. Otherwise, you'd be depressed and miserable. 
you need some level of feminine energy because that also gives you emotional intelligence, empathy. You know, you can actually feel for other people. Now, I wouldn't be doing these videos or putting any of my content out there if I was purely masculine. The, the fact that I have some femininity and feminine energy is the reason why I put these messages out there because I feel empathetic to men who are not succeeding in life. I feel empathetic to men who are depressed, who are, you know, who are not good looking, who are unattractive. Um, I don't want to say ugly. I think it's, it's pretty harsh, but unfortunately it's true. And if you hear the way women talk about us, like my guys, if you hear the way women speak about men, whoo, you would be shocked at how brutal they are. Brutal. They're straight in on this shit. They're like, oh, he's ugly. Ugh, he's horrible. Like, there's, there's no holds bar. And they'll say stuff like, oh, he's gorgeous. Oh, he's hot as hell. Oh, I'd love to take his pants down and grab his and do all sorts with it. And oh, I'd love him to get me naked and take me from behind. Like, girls say some mad shit, by the way. And I've been in those circles and I've heard those stories and I've heard those you know, methods of speech and the way they, they can be vulgar and rough and nasty. Woo wee. If you think girls are nice and, and you know, and, and they would never say a bad word about you, you are so delusional because girls can say some really funky shit, really horrible things about men. You know, they're super brutal. Oh, he's ugly. He has big ears and um, oh, he's just skinny and lanky and oh, he's, oh, he's so short. Oh, I wouldn't, wouldn't really want to be seen walking around with him. And oh, his dress sense is terrible. And oh, his teeth are horrific. Oh, his breath is like a donkey's breath that hasn't drank water for five days. I mean, girls will say some seriously horrid stuff. And, <laughs> and I just don't need to be delusional with the fact that you think that they would never say anything rude. Trust me, girls are uh, 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 can be vile creatures, can be. They're not necessarily vile creatures, not all of them. They can be vile creatures. I've heard these conversations and my experience far surpasses most men's experience when it comes to women. Far surpasses. I mean, like, my experience with women is the 0.1% of men. The women that I've been with, the women that I've been around, the places that I've been. Um, you know, I am giving you first-hand knowledge, first-hand information on what women can be like. And they can be snaky and vile. And so, and so what's the comeback to that? To be in masculine, bro. To be in a man. To get in your shit together. To look in the park. When I walk out the house today, I'm going to feel good. I'm going to feel good. Because I showered. I fixed my hair. I've got my, I hit the gym yesterday, I'm going to smash the gym today. I've got my to-do list, I've got my tasks. I walk up to this beautiful girl yesterday in the supermarket. I'm going to walk up to another beautiful girl somewhere today on the street in a co-working space in the gym. I don't care where it is. I don't care where it is. I'm going to walk up to her. I'm going to walk up to her and I'm going to say, hi, how are you? You look gorgeous today. I just wanted to get to know you and maybe just see what you're up to. Maybe invite you for a drink over the next couple of days. Oh, she's going to say no. And if she says no, that's her loss, bro. That's her loss. Cool, you wanna have a drink with a G who's rich and ripped like me? But that actually rhymes, wow. <laughs> oh, you wanna have a, a drink with me? You wanna have a drink with a G who's rich and ripped like me? That was really funny. Don't know how I came up with that shit. But um, it's, it's this, and this is what this masculine drive gives me. Guys, it gives me the purpose, it gives me the power. It gives me the, 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 the feeling in my heart of strength. I am strong. I will survive. You know, I will, I will survive. Hey, another great tune. I'm buzzing with energy today, as you can see. It's this testosterone just fueling through me. And this is why I'm passionate about masculinity, man. I care about this stuff. I want to be masculine. I want to be strong. I want to protect people. I'm not a misogynist. You know, people are like, oh, toxic masculinity, this guy's a misogynist. No, I'm not. I treat women better than 99% of men. I am loving towards women because a true masculine man is loving and has adoration for women and treats them well and treats them with respect and shows them love and care and sometimes gives them what they need, not necessarily always what they want because women don't know what they want all the time. They need to be given what they need. They need to be told, no, darling, 
You're not going to go out dressed with that bloody mini skirt that's about that big and your ass is hanging out. Because men are going to look at you and, and, and I don't want my woman having all sorts of nasty guys stroll up to her. So no, I don't want you to wear that. Now what's wrong with that? Are you going to sit there and tell me, oh, you can't tell me what to do. You can't tell women how to dress. I can tell why my woman how to dress, you know. So when you're masculine, when you're a G, when you're the guy that women want, you can start making these calls and having these shots. Now, if you're not that guy, unfortunately, you can't start calling the shots, bro. You can't start telling women what to do, telling people what to do, jumping on YouTube and posting this kind of content because people will see that you're not actually the guy. People will find out that you're bullshit. But, but people that know me, that see me in parties, see me in clubs, see me on the beach, they know. They're like, yo, oh shit. Like, serious brother, serious G, not to be messed with. This guy's sharp. This guy knows what he wants in life. And... Sorry, something's just in my eye, I've got to take it out. And, um, and that's how you want to be perceived. You know, you want to be perceived in that way. You want to be perceived as a confident person that people don't mess with. And so the whole point of this channel and my journey from now till I'm dead is to help you boys get to this position that I am in. Because it's lonely up here at the top, it's boring, and I need other people around me. I need a community of men. But I'm building now and I have beautiful people around me. I'm in Budapest now in Hungary and I've got my accountability coach that I'm living with. And this guy's keeping me accountable and making sure that I'm up early, I'm moving, I'm hitting the gym, even though I do all this stuff myself. Guys, I'm a multimillionaire with a six pack that, that can travel anywhere, anytime, that can pick up girls anywhere, anytime. And I'm still working my ass off. I'm still in the gym every day. I'm still finding my purpose. I'm still trying to make money. I'm still trying to find a beautiful wife to have beautiful kids with one day. Um, I guess the problem is with being single and being attractive is having all these different options. And so I don't want to like stick to one woman. I just want to play the field and enjoy all these different beautiful women and keep sleeping with women until it gets boring, which eventually it kind of does get boring. And I do want to find a, a beautiful, loyal, good woman at one point to have children with. But, you know, I'm still going. What's your excuse, bro? Like, come on, dude. You gotta start, start getting into the mindset. I don't care if you're poor and lonely and unattractive and ugly, right? With a, with a, with a nasty body. You can start somewhere on this journey. You can start somewhere on this journey. You cannot give up. It is not over. Your life has a meaning, brother. You are destined to do better things. Do not give up. I understand you've been through a tough time. I understand the depression. I understand the pain. I understand the strife. I understand it's not fun sitting here watching other people's social media posts and watching my videos and, and seeing my Instagram and seeing my stories and seeing what I get up to and being like, oh fuck, how come he's got that life and how come I don't have that life? I understand that that's painful. I understand that that's not fun. I get it. I really do. I was once that person. I smoked weed every day. I wasted a hell of a lot of time. I played board games. I was a lazy prick, you know, and, and I wasted a lot of time in life. And now I'm like, yo, why didn't I start doing this five, 10 years ago? Why wasn't I posting this content? Andrew Tate got out there and started posting all this content. This was all the stuff I was talking about five years ago. He was brave enough to go out there and do it. Now, never mind, he got cancelled and... Well, the day I get cancelled is probably not too far off just because I'm so blunt and straightforward about my, my comments. But I'm not a misogynist. I love women. I care about women. And I want to help men attract beautiful women. You know, the whole idea of making men more masculine is to, is to get them to a better point in life where they can have beautiful wives and make their women happy because they are masculine. Women want masculine men. Women don't want emasculated little, little softies. Women don't want that, dude. A true feminine woman wants a true masculine man. A true beautiful feminine woman walking around Hungary right now. And there's some gorgeous girls here, by the way. Whew, glad I'm here right now. Even though it's cold as ice. Um, you know, they want these true beautiful feminine women who want to be protected and looked after all day. 
They want a strong masculine man who knows, who's ambitious, who's strong, who has a good body, who will protect her, who knows what he wants, and who will make the decisions for her. And who will help her reach her goals. That's what a true feminine woman wants. That's why I'm so damn passionate about masculinity. That's why we need more of this. We need more masculinity in today's society. We've been emasculated, for God's sake. The agendas, the agendas, LGBTQ plus X minus Z, whatever you want to add all this BS to it. Reading an article yesterday and it was just like, gender neutral toys are part of the law in California now. All right, cool. I'm not against that necessarily, but, and, and we can have, and you know, you can go on gay marches and we can have trans people and that's fine. You know, I, I'm not against those people. Live your life, do what you want to do. You should be free, free will. The power of human beings and the way they think and their uniqueness, that is fine. I am not against anyone who's trans, anyone who's gay, anyone who's lesbian. Nothing against them whatsoever. What I will say is that I don't want masculinity lose as a result to, to masculinity to lose as a result of everything else rising. So more trans, more gays, more lesbians shouldn't mean less masculinity and men, you know, stooping lower and being more silent. No, we should be just as strong, if not stronger. We should be even stronger because we will protect those people. When there's war, when there's fights, when there's difficulties, we will be the ones that will stand up and that will protect our people, that will protect our offspring, that will protect our country. We will be the ones. I will be the one to stand up to protect my family, to stand up and protect my people, my followers, and everything I've ever lived for, because that is masculinity. Oh. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I, it's, you can just feel it. You can feel it inside of me. I mean, this is all so damn real. No, I can't fake this. It's impossible. It's impossible to fake this content. It's impossible to fake this conversation. This is some of the realest shit I could ever say. It feels great to talk about it, by the way. It really does feel great to talk about this stuff. And I just can't wait to make more of an impact on you people because there are just too many men suffering and struggling. And they need more masculinity in their life. And they'll probably try, try taking antidepressants or testosterone supplements or whatever they're going to take. And it won't do the job. It just won't do the job. You need more than that. You need the mindset. You need to get into the gym every day. I'm going to go to the gym. Of course I'm going to go to the gym today. I'm going to smash the gym today. I'm going to smash a back and bicep session. Then I need to go for a run after the session on the treadmill. Or go for a run in the cold weather in Budapest. You know, I woke up this morning at 6.45, not my usual wake-up time. I usually wake up at 8 a.m. I was tired. I went for a walk with my accountability coach. And I came back home. I was like, oh, God, I'm exhausted. Like, I need to, you know. And I, I, I'll admit, like, I had a 20-minute nap at, like, 9 o'clock. Woke up at 9.20. I was like, God, I feel better. I had a shower, got dressed, started filming. You know, I've been filming two hours of content. Um, and, and you just have to push through. You've got to push through life. Just got to push through. It's going to be difficult. Watching my content is going to annoy you. It's going, it's, you know, you're going to be like, damn, how do I get to that point? But hopefully this will motivate you and get you in the right mindset. That is all I ask. I ask that you get into the right mind frame, that you start hitting the gym, that you start thinking about your goals and what you really want in this life, that you approach that girl in the supermarket in, it, it, I don't know, it, walking down the street, in the bar, you, you, you maybe decide to stop drinking this week. It's the first week of Jan. It's time to get back on the wagon. Time to get you know, onto your goals and live your life. Life is short. You want to live a good life. God damn it. And so do I. And, you know, I have my own troubles and my own strife, but I will fight through that and I will never give up. And that's what will make me strong. And that's what will give me a good life because you cannot stop me. No man will stop me. Say what you want. Whatever bullshit comment you want to put on my YouTube videos. You think that's going to stop me? You think some keyboard warrior is going to stop me? Because if he was in my face, he would never say that. He wouldn't even dare say that if he saw my stature and my size as a man. Because if I, you know, and I wouldn't do this, I wouldn't hit a soul because of the repercussions. But if I did, it would be damn painful. 
because I'm maxing out weights in the gym, I'm training, I'm in the right mindset, and I have this raw adrenaline, raw masculinity that just runs through my bloody veins. <sighs> Take a breather. And I want the same for you. So look, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope that, you know, if you want me to make more content like this, please let me know. I do listen to your comments on suggestions of new videos, and I will make those new videos. Um, uh, according to your suggestions. I'm here to help you. This channel is not for me to make money. This channel is for me to help you improve your lives. All right, people? So let's keep this up. It's a new year. Let's get positive and let's get moving.